Hey everyone, so today I thought I would take you along with me and my mom as I go looking for vintage toys. I don't usually have a whole lot of luck in my local stores finding Polly Pockets and things like that, but I always try. Our first stop was a Goodwill. I'm just looking at board games because you never know what you might find. And of course, I always look at stuffed animals, mostly for my kids, but again, you never know what things you might find laying around with the stuffed animals. On this shopping trip, I was also making sure to always check the books. Um, in particular, I was looking for a Polly Pocket book that I know Golden Books made, though now I'm realizing that the Polly books they made did not have the traditional gold spine, so I could have totally missed it just because I was looking through those specifically. We are now at another Goodwill. Lots and lots of books, but unfortunately nothing for me. I did happen to find these Marble Works Marble Run that I know my husband had as a kid and my kids have played with it a lot at their grandma's house. But when I looked through it, it looked like a bunch of different brands of Marble Runs. So not the Marble Works. So I didn't get that. I also noticed this because I've seen TikToks from people in the UK saying they're so shocked that people in America have outlets in their bathrooms. And apparently we even have outlets in bathrooms and stores. Hello! Uh, so now we are at a big store that is kind of like an indoor flea market. It's just a bunch of booths that other people or a bunch of people run. Um, we are in one particular section of the store that is, has a lot of vintage items. Um, I don't typically find anything in here that exactly interests me, but there are a lot of interesting things to look at. And I am now realizing that I totally missed a section of this store at the very front of the store that does have some things that might have interest me, so I'm kind of bummed out about that. And here you have lots of Funko Pop figures. Lots and lots and lots. So now I'm at one booth that had lots of books that I made sure to look through. They have lots of old things, but generally older than things I typically keep, like lots of old life and post magazines. They also have a whole bunch of bottles and cans, if that is something you are interested in. So these next couple of booths are mostly newer toys, brand new in their boxes. Um, I usually don't find anything in here that I'm interested in, but I always make sure to look because you never know what you might find. Uh, there might be some newer polys for cheap or who knows what they might have. You never know what you're going to find in places like this, so I always make sure to look. Now 
Now we are heading up the stairs and once you get upstairs you kind of get a feel for just how big this place is. Although this still isn't even probably half of it. There's other sections to this building uh, with even more stuff. So it could take you a very long time to get through all of this stuff if you wanted to. Now from far away I happened to notice these containers full of toys so I made sure to go over and check them out. Nothing I'm interested in unfortunately. They uh, advertise themselves as the best prices shoebox toys and they're not lying their prices were really good because you will find other boxes like this around the store and they're a lot more expensive. So these were the best prices but unfortunately nothing for me. Now, these next few booths are usually the ones I get the most excited for, and these are usually the ones I try to get to as quickly as possible when I come in the store, um, because they usually have lots of at least 90s toys and some 80s toys. So always make sure to take my time looking through here to see if there's anything I want. Uh, this Arthur board game was kind of cute. Um, I liked Arthur as a kid. They had a lot of, as you can see, 90s type stuff, Lego, um, oh, a little Arthur lunchbox, very cute. The next one over, I looked at the books, mostly just Goosebumps. It might seem like I'm just scanning through all of this stuff very quickly, but I promise I did give it all a good look to see if there was anything in these booths that I wanted, and no, there wasn't. I loved Rugrats as a kid, but that giant Chucky head is kind of freaking me out. So over here, I found lots more golden books. So I made sure to give these a good look. And again, uh, Polly Pocket ones do not have the gold spine. So, of course, it wasn't here. I did pull out a Pound Puppies book that I kind of considered because my girls like Pound Puppies, but I didn't end up getting it.
in this booth I also found a couple of doodle bears. I had one of these as a kid and I've kind of thought about getting another one but I never have. I didn't get that one. At this booth, I did find another one of these containers. This one is $20. It is Ninja Turtles theme, and it has one of the 2006 Ninja Turtles compact playset in there. I would actually honestly love to have that set, but not being able to look inside it to see if it has all of its pieces was a no-go for me. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of these containers that I had to look through and kind of get an idea of what's in there, but it's kind of hard since they're all taped closed. You cannot open them and look through them. They also had some vintage puzzles that I was kind of interested in. I've sort of been wanting to buy some lately, but I haven't really jumped into it yet. So I left these puzzles here for now anyway. So it finally happened. I think you guys brought me luck. I finally found uh, Polly Pocket in a thrift store for the very first time. These are obviously not vintage sets. It's mostly Polly with one Shopkins set in there. All of these sets I didn't already have. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to get it or not because it's $20 and I didn't know what all was in there, but I did end up buying it because it was the first time I'd ever found Polly in the store like this. So I thought, might as well get it. Now here I am moving over to an area with the grossest, squishiest carpet. I can't even express how gross that carpet feels underfoot, but it is disgusting. Um, this whole area is just, again, new toys in box. I always give it a glance, but I don't really look too carefully because I figure there's nothing really in there that I'm going to want. Over here they do have older toys like bagged up and hanging up on the wall. I always make sure to give this area a good look because they could have some poly figures or a poly pocket playset in here. Um, but usually there's nothing I want. Something did catch my eye. I'm pretty sure it is Pocahontas McDonald's toys like little puppets that pop out. I remember having one of those as a kid. Here we were admiring this painting that my mom liked when I noticed this total creep staring at us. What's your problem, dude? Next, we headed up this ramp to another section of the store. And the very first thing my mom noticed was this giant poster of Barnabas Collins from Dark Shadows. She has always loved him. She did not, however, buy this poster because, as she said, He looks like a clown or something. He's like a <laughs> mouth. I made him look like a clown. <laughs> Finding nothing in there, we went down a ramp, a metal one this time, which is kind of scary sounding when you're walking on it. And apparently for the first time, we became aware of our surroundings. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. Wow. <laughs> What's going on here? Is that, is I think that, we're connecting two buildings. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what, I've never thought about it. But yeah, it's two different buildings and they just built this around. Uh, huh. <laughs> So in this building, there are a couple of booths that have some older toys 
Just nothing that I am interested in. We were finished up at that store and we headed over to a much smaller antique shop. They had a cute Cabbage Patch Kid. They also had this, which was actually pretty cute, a Mattel construction set. It was $25. If any of my kids were still pretty young, young enough to play with this, I probably would have been tempted, but all of my kids are too old for this at this point. So I put it back, but it was fun to look at. We went just a few shops down to this really cool store that we always like to check out. It looks so small from the outside, but it goes so far back. They don't usually have anything I want, but it's really fun to come and look at their clothes because they have a ton of vintage dresses. Next, we headed to a Salvation Army. They have tons of bagged toys. Um, I've never found anything here that I've ever wanted. Of course, I'm always looking at the stuffed animals for my kids. Uh, but yeah, I didn't find anything here that I wanted, but I always make sure to look, of course.
after the Salvation Army, at the end of our shopping trip, we really wanted to end the afternoon with a frozen drink of the adult variety, but the place we wanted to go to was way too crowded for us, so we had to settle on a frozen drink of the McDonald's variety, but it's okay because the fries were really fresh and delicious and the drinks were pretty good too. Alright, so I am back home now and can kind of take a look at what we got. Well, I've already taken a look at what I got. And honestly, out of all of this, I, I think I might only keep these two because they're in the best condition. I didn't have any of these. These are all not newer Polly Pocket, but kind of from when Polly Pocket first came back. Um... This one is a little bit newer, 2019, whereas this one, well, these two are the same, obviously. This one and this one are 2018, I believe. Um, I don't think there's actually a year on that one, but yeah, 2018. And so these were in the best condition. This one actually has most of the pieces. Let me get it open here has the two dolls and the scooter. It's just missing a skateboard, but it's in pretty good condition and I didn't have it. So I will keep that one. And then the cupcake, it's not as good condition. It needs some help. It's a little dirty. The stickers are worn out. There are no dolls, but I didn't have the cupcake and I don't know, it feels kind of like a classic uh, set of the reboot of Polly Pocket. I know there's a Christmas ornament that looks like this compact. I kind of want that Christmas ornament, and so I thought it would be kind of fun to have the compact too. So I will keep those two. Um, this one I would keep. It's just... It has no figures. The horse there is kind of um, stressed and the barn is missing the door. Otherwise, I'd probably keep it, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like... I have some of the sets that were made at the same time as this. It's just I don't care for them as much because there's nowhere for dolls to stand. There's no pegs or holes or anything or even stickers because this is when they started making the plastic legs again instead of the rubber legs but they didn't give the dolls anywhere to actually stand so it's kind of frustrating because they can't really stand up anywhere um and so because of that and because of the missing door and none of the accessories probably won't keep that one and then this is just a repeat of the other one but in worse condition some stress and um other than that it's in about the same condition as that one other than sticker messed up and some stress marks and then this one is it's cute on the outside I really like that but it's missing the little heart on the front that would hold it closed and it's kind of dirty and it's missing that which would be the top to that present and I think it would be a ring um, obviously the black marks could probably be cleaned up but no characters, and it doesn't stay closed. So I probably won't keep that one. And then I thought I would keep this. I thought for sure I would love to have this. Obviously, it's a Shopkins Little Secrets uh, compact. And this is the pet shop one. Um, it had <laughs> the top of the girl that came with it, but none of the Shopkins. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of beat up, paint chipped. I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. It's just not very fun without a doll. I don't know. I mean, it's cute. I just don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. And then it came with this random, probably, Polly Pocket dress. Are these the ones that people talked about eating, like chewing on all the time? What? No. And then a Burger King uh, Polly Pocket like keychain little clip thing that lights up. That had 
two different colors. I don't know. Eh, hard to switch, but that is from 2013. Um, oh, I guess the light just kind of changes. Yeah, I doubt I'll keep this. Don't really need that. So, and I guess I keep the container. Why not, right? Uh, so, everything $20, and I think I only want those two. Maybe I'll change my mind about this one. I don't know. But everything else, I think I'll just try to like resell for cheap. There's a lot. Maybe somebody will want them. And maybe I'll be able to get at least some of my money back. I don't know. But anyway, yep, that was what I got other than a bunch of stuffed animals that I got for my kids. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of video where I take you along shopping and maybe I'll do it again. But if not, you can let me know if you don't like it too and then I'll know not to do it again. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.